Well, now it is time to bring out our first guest who never fails to have us in fits of laughter when she stops by. She's here looking really good uh, in bright colors, turquoise and yellow. And uh, she's here to tell us all about her new TV land show, How'd You Get So Rich? Please welcome back to the show the very funny Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you like me? Right there. there. Right. Oh, this look, you match the stool. Your I jewelry know, I matches know. the stool. You it's looks not by mistake, no. Martha. I'm sure not. It's calculated. Everything, everything is, is calculated. calculated. <laughs> How are you? You know what? You're not at all calculated. You are just so witty, so fast, so uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. You are. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I am not being, I'm not just flattering you. Well, we know each other a long time. Well, you're fantastic. And, uh, and I love to make her laugh because she is so smart. No. Oh. And when Martha laughs, you go, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, your show, How'd You, How'd get, you get So, so rich? rich? This is a good idea for a show. Yeah. Is this your idea? Uh, uh, one, sort of. It's the second season, and originally I wanted to do it with Wall Street people. <laughs> And I said, no, <laughs> why go to jail? You know, I don't want to talk to people through the bars. So, um, so I said, uh, I want to get people that started with nothing. Because that's the American dream. You haven't dream. interviewed me. Uh, uh, would you do it? Yeah. We have to go through your house, though, and look at your stuff. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. Third season. I mean, I don't have great stuff. But that's I what have great trees. But that's what makes everybody is so different. Some people, you one Preston Bailey, who is one of the great florists of the world, oh, yeah. very wealthy. And oh, he's been on our show. He's amazing. He, he lives in a one-room apartment because he's in such extraordinary places all the time. He simplifies. Other people, uh, one man said, I wanted better gardens in Versailles, down in Virginia, Ooh. and has them. <gasps> and spends $1,000 a day just turning on the fountains. <gasps> but everybody spends it in different ways. But is it about how do you spend it or how did you earn it? It's both. It's how'd you earn it, because the guy that did the <laughs> clapper, beyond rich. <laughs> Wee-wee pads, your dogs, how many stupid wee-wee pads have you put down never, in your life? Never, never, you I never. I have never did? bought a wee-wee pad. I get up in the middle of the night and I take my dogs out when they have to go. I'm sending you my next dog. My dog. <laughs> We we when they're training them first, you put them. I live in New, the city, in the wee wee pad. No, you and take them out. You get up in the middle of the night and you take them down the elevator outside. Yeah, sure. Not that I don't <laughs> think wee wee pads are a good idea, but right. um, well, thank God you're the only one that doesn't because he is very rich. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody. No, no, I do think they're a good idea. But everybody. Congratulations, by the way. Yeah, I wish oh, I had made wee wee pads. Yeah. And I love this. His wife was so smart because. I love when different people spend. I said, "How do you change your light bulb?" She said, "I don't know." You know, it's some people. Somebody live in else different, changes their yeah, light bulbs. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. And so, somebody had a Mercedes with a gun rack. I mean, how do you spend your money? It's just fascinating. <laughs> That's what's yeah. wrong with America. Yeah, yeah. But somebody had Bill Gates as their cable guy. I mean, they spend their <laughs> money in different ways. And you see the houses and how they decorate, and it's fascinating. Whose was the most beautiful house? Uh, a man. Uh, you have several. very good taste, by the way. Yeah, and, thank and, you. you know, I've been to Joan's apartment. It's, it's nice. Gorgeous. It's good. And I haven't seen your house, but yeah. in Connecticut. I live the way Marie Antoinette would have lived if she had had money. <laughs> <I d> <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell, buy it. And Melissa keeps saying, you're going to buy that now? You're 76 years old? Yes, Melissa, and I'm going to enjoy it for another six. Does she want it? Did you, did you ever no. add? Oh, listen. I Doesn't want a thing. I took my daughter. I said, she came up to the house, and I said, you know, just choose whatever you want, and I'll put your name on it. You know, just choose it, take it home. She only chose one thing that I wouldn't give to her. Um, and uh, Isn't that fun? And she got mad at me. Yeah, she didn't want anything else. Just the, the, the six glasses or ten glasses that I really kind of like, I yeah. wouldn't give to her. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I, but, but, but Melissa... I'll leave them to her, and I, I will. I know, but Melissa looks around, and I know... Does she want any of it? Nothing. No, see, they don't want it. Nothing, and I left in my will. There's nothing worse than when your mother dies... And you feel guilty. I have to keep this because she loved it. And yeah. I wrote my will. I bought them. I loved them. Sell them and buy what you want. I don't oh, care. That's good. Except for, and then there's <laughs> no, <laughs> these 19 things. I don't so, give a damn. So Just who's on the first episode? Sprinkle me and throw me out. Who's on the first episode? Um, uh, the first episode. 
Donald Trump because of his father. You know Donald's father. Well, Donald after, wasn't born poor. No, no, but the father was beyond poor. Well, Again, but are you ideas. doing the father or the but son? But he took, the father made good money, but Donald then made incredible gazillion. So we show the father who built, after World War II, he built garages for people, $16 a garage. Hmm. He would ring your bell and say, you have a car. Like a the prefab G garage? Yeah, he would oh, just say, good. hello, uh, would you like me to build a garage under your house? And that's how they started that Trump empire. We have the guy that did uh, John Mitchell Cosmetics. He went, he figured out, oh, why don't John you, Paul. Uh, don't you oh, love him? Don't amazing. you love him? Oh, we have a clip. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, I'm yeah. Let's, so let's look wonderful. at the clip. He figured out, put uh, shampoo and conditioner together. Beyond Brilliant. rich. And 900 million in sales Later. a year, something like that. Yeah, because right? women have clean hair. It's just, let's see the clip. He's a darling man. And uh, he, likes, he likes Africa. So he has pets, wildebeests. He wildebeest. has, yeah, he has like African pets. Okay. I thought I was One Meryl Streep. animal I would not want to have as a pet is well, a wildebeest. Well, wildebeest. <laughs> you talk about getting a big wee wee pad. <laughs> yeah. Come here. <laughs> we have the clip, <laughs> as I it? said. Let's look. There's a clip somewhere of him. You, they, or not. Show, it show doesn't matter. I want to see everything. everything. Tell me how you got all this. You were homeless. Yeah, I lived in my car. Out. Absolutely. And, and going through bottles? Soda pop bottles. Two cents for a little one, five cents for a big one. You cash them in, you get some money. So times were a little different in those days, and one would learn how to live off $2.50 a day. And this is in 1980. I love him. Wow. He's I love amazing. Him. Amazing. And they're all, all of them. Now, have you profiled yourself? Uh, yeah, but I don't compare with any of them. We went through my house. I was so ashamed. <laughs> Things I thought were nice. Yeah. You know, and then you go, and here's my bathroom. Mm, well, maybe we won't show that. <laughs> okay, here's my kitchen, I think. This is either the refrigerator or the fur vault. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and, uh, we profiled me, but it's mainly, there's one person that has all pornographic art. Well, see. Yeah, but it's fascinating. They all spend it differently. Yeah. And who's going to tell them? And they're all charitable. You're, and you're going to show it. And I show it all. Yeah, well, that's Wednesday good. Wednesday nights. When we return, Joan and I are going to be in the craft room to make personalized tea towels, which your daughter will like. I hope. I hope. I hope. Stay with us. <laughs> Coming up, Martha and Joan craft personalized tea towels and then head to the kitchen to make a delicious pasta dish you won't want to miss. Always entertaining Joan Rivers, and uh, we're going to craft now. We're going to make personalized tea towels. Now, these tea towels, Joan, come from eBay. These are old. Good. That's yeah. nice. They're old, and you can buy them. Uh, if you buy them new, they're like ten dollars each or twelve dollars each, and on eBay, they're like four dollars each. It's, and they're wonderful. And they're, yeah. they're probably better quality. Oh, they're too. good linen, and they're and they're or cotton, and and you can uh, specify on eBay, you know, the colors you want. You can find those things in the May issue. This May issue of Martha Stewart Living, we had a craft story on uh, on how to personalize tote bags. Uh, with these beautiful letters and flowers. Uh, we've adapted this, uh, the alphabet, this faux bois alphabet, to our um, craft today. You know, I wrote a book on crafts with Winona Ryder. I did not know yes. that. Yes, Elegant Crafts to Make a Steal. Oh. And we did very well. <laughs> Have you forgiven her by now? Of course. I hope so. I won't let her in my house. No. Nope. But I'm <laughs> I hope you have forgiven her. Of course. She's a fantastic actress. Yes. See, I, I always... Your watch her. is missing. Oh. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, of course. We all make mistakes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make personalized tea towels, and, uh, and you can yes. have... We made a J and an R for you. Which is great. Well, but why do you have B and M? Uh, because Bette Midler's my good friend. Oh. And, and she I, and she does the, all plants all those trees all over New York yes, City and keeps highways clean. And this clean. is faux bois, so that's, that's trees. That's perfect. Yeah, faux it's, bois. Right. Yes. False wood. I got design. it. But BM BM is uh, BM. Don't put this in her bathroom. No. Okay. That's the only place <laughs> she she should not put. <laughs> okay, kitchen. She kitchen. should keep these in the kitchen. <laughs> Jr. What could Jr. stand for? Jerk. <laughs> You said it, I didn't. No, I anyway, 
this is what you get uh, from the templates uh, on our website. You can get oh, you can you pretty. can get the initials. This is my uh, farm symbol, so yes. you can't get that. I'm sorry. You can't get that. No. All right. But if you ask, I'll give it to you. I would love that. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. It's the sycamore tree. Yes. So uh, so you print this on the special um, okay. on the special uh, transfer paper. And then you, now look, we have the towel on a hard surface. You need a hard surface. And they say use a pillowcase. I don't know why a pillowcase. You can use a pillowcase. You can use a piece of fabric. You could use another tea towel as long as the surface is hard. Okay. Okay. And so we've measured, and to center our, our beautiful design, we've measured with these post-its. And I'm going to keep my finger there. And turn, and this you just turn down like that. So you take the post-it off. Yeah, and you remember where it is. <laughs> yes, okay. And put your B down. There's my B for bet. Yes, isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay. And then start ironing. And it this, takes about... This end down? We out. This is, <laughs> this is this great iron. We're using the Rowenta Pro Master Iron. I love... the. You know, do you truly, iron? Do you like to I iron? I love immediate gratification. I love ironing. And I love washing dishes. Do you, do you iron like when I get home sometimes late at night? I go down to the basement and iron. Do yeah. you do such a thing? I, no, I just no. like to wash. I'm a great guest. I will wash dishes. Yeah. Because you see, dirty, clean. I don't like you know things. Make sure take you're a not while. scorching. No. Ah. Make sure. And like you know what? Little seconds. brown looks good. <laughs> <laughs> not on a tea towel. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. So, so, so let that just stay. All right. We have a swap out. This will this will work though. You you have done something very, very neatly there. So look, pull off like oh you don't have one. Yeah, here oh, mine's underneath. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, I just so pull it off. You have a B. Yes, I have the. Oh look. There, look at this bit is going to be so. And then I did an M and an S for Martha because I'm only making them for myself. Okay. So selfish. <laughs> These are going to look great in my kitchen. There we oh, go. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, look at that. If you just put this over a towel rack in your kitchen, how adorable. Isn't adorable, that right? yeah. My bet will love that. As long as we don't put it in her bed. No, you let, send it that. It's just. Send that with a great. note. And that's yeah. very beautiful. It's so great. Now, um, these transfers, by the way, uh, you can wash, no problem. And I would stay on. I would suggest not putting them in the dryer. So dry them on, on the line. And then when you iron them, uh, iron them on the wrong side. But I love, what a great, great way to give somebody a gift. You know I know, what I mean? It's I suddenly, know. And they it's a can't great return hostess it. gift, or it's even. It's, <laughs> no, you know, if you give them initials, they can't return it. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's, that's great. Idea. I know, I, I think know. it's great. You know, and, and they'll know that it's not a re gift because yeah. you have taken the trouble to. Yeah. Don't you hate re gifts? Yes. Martha, this I have is for a lot. You. I have a lot of re-gifts. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, it's so terrible. You open it up, and, and, and you know, you know, you don't even want to open it Joyce. for certain certain people. You just know. It's a re-gift. Exactly. <laughs> now, this tell you, I think it's fabulous. See, you know what? You're the only person I can talk to these th about these things too. Re-gift is yeah. You can't talk to I can't, I can't talk to my two friends, my two best friends who re-gift all the time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and but, you want to say, why don't you just do, give it directly to my housekeeper? Right. Because I'm going to give it to her in two minutes. <laughs> Let's peel yours off. See if you're. See okay. if you got the B looking good. Uh oh. Well, you know, Beth's going to like it this way. No, she's not. Yeah. How do you Here, peel you it just off? Peel it with your nails. You have long nails. Yeah, but they're fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There, there you oh, go. Look. See. Perfect. That's great. Absolutely. So fabulous. there's the B, yeah. and then you have to do the other one. This is a very, very nice uh, craft for, for anybody at home, and it's, it really is a nice gift. And thanks to our friends at Rowenta, where this fantastic iron comes from. Guess what, everybody in the audience? Uh, you're going home with a ProMaster iron. Oh, wait. <laughs> MarthaStewart.com. Click on our craft department blog for a chance to win an iron also. So, uh, Joan, you could do that. Thank you. You can go click on MarthaStewart.com. Uh, anything blog, you tell me, I will blog. do. I love you. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs>See, you ask and you receive. And may I tell you, it's not going to be regifted. Okay. This stays with me. Thank you so much, Monica. You're very welcome. Oh. Here, just put it down there. I'll put it down. Okay. We're going to make a dish called, oh, listen to this, Joan. 
I was making this pasta one, one day and I was thinking, what can I call this? Because it's like, it's just a simple, simple pasta and you don't, you can just tear everything up. So I called it Brilliant No Knife Pasta. That's great. Did you like that? Because they can put the knives in the, where they belong in a plastic surgeon's That's right. office. <laughs> so they can use a... And for this. So we're going to cook calamari pasta. Remember we oh. made calamari the last time you were here? Oh, yeah. do I remember? Okay, do you? I was sick for a week. No. <laughs> <laughs> lots of salt, okay, lots of salt with the pasta. Let that boil away and uh, it cooks for, it tells you on the bag how long it should cook. Oh, 12 minutes, okay. Why did so, you cook it more than 12 minutes? Seriously. Well, then it gets, it gets soggy and, yeah, and falls apart, okay. and then you don't have pasta. You okay. want it al dente, but not too al dente. Okay. Okay, so, and these, this, this Sitaro, they make really nice shapes of pasta. Look at this. That's cute. Isn't that a cute? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. I always look for unusual shapes. Now, you, do you mind using your nails? Delighted. To tear, to tear tomatoes? Tear? To yes, tear the tomatoes into the bowl. This is a Valentino. Like so. Fine. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, well. Valentino likes tomatoes. My accountant cares. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is fine. Happy yeah, to do this here. But don't squirt it. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so just, just little tear. pieces. This gives you a sensuous feeling <gasps> yes. of food, you know? Oh, I, I feel like, like I'm living in the Renaissance where they didn't have <laughs> forks and knives. This is great. <laughs> Eat no food. nice pasta. <laughs> so we have um, four medium garlic cloves. You like garlic? Uh, yes, I think it's the okay. best thing in the world. So you can just sort of chop, chop or yeah. or well, pound. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not. Don't get you wish you. the whole world ate garlic? We'd all be healthy and we wouldn't smell it. You That's know, true. Great. But this. Oh, I like doing that with that. How many thing. you I've want me to do? Of all of all of the tomatoes. Thrilled. <laughs> So you just tear up the garlic like that and uh, really smash it. Okay. So no knife pasta. I thought that was great. That's great. Okay. So there was this guy uh, at Nobu. Do you do you go to Nobu? Yeah, sometimes so, when people treat. Yeah, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I, th I think his name, his last name is Notar. Right. Joey Notar. And uh, so uh, he, so I used to call him. Uh, Joey, no table. Because, That's very funny. Yeah, because... You didn't get a table? Never, never I used get a to, table. at Nobu? Well, that's what I called him. Then after I called him that, then he got me a table all the Just time. Just say it from now on, it's Mrs. Larry King. You'll get a table. And I'm going to meet Larry in makeup. Oh. <laughs> so, you have a documentary. Yes, I do. Tell us about that. It's called uh, Joan Rivers, A Piece of Work. And they did it at Sundance. It got all the reviews and notices, and it's coming out... Theatrically. Oh, who produced it? Uh, don't ask me names. Oh. Uh, Ricky, a uh, de dear friend of mine. Uh, Oregano, Ricky by the way. Yeah, Oregano. Okay. Here we go. Um, oh, so it's so how how long Ricky of a documentary Stern. is it? And it's uh, how long? Yeah, is uh, it like an hour, two it's hours. An hour and a half. It's like a real movie. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Well, what you don't like it? No, I love it. But you know, you don't have to. Re I'll send you a copy. Oh well, no. I don't Wholesale. Wholesale. You gave me the iron. <laughs> you gave me the iron, Martha. I knew there was a catch. I got. I knew there was going to be a damn catch in this thing. Now I have to send you. What the, the tomatoes movie. are the catch. You're, you're <laughs> have, you're, you, go, you have to tear up the tomatoes. And That's it the starts catch. June 11th in, oh. oh. in theaters. In theaters. Notice like, I'm putting salt in yeah. here, and I'm putting pepper, black pepper. I feel like a real movie star. And I am, uh, I'm so glad that you're doing that. Yeah, so that's fine. And is it, uh, is it a retrospective? I mean, it goes back to, to your beginning. No, it just shows a year in a comedian's life. Oh, <laughs> which year? Uh, we picked. <laughs> We picked 1943. <laughs> we just... It was That's hard good. for Ricky, but... Uh, yeah. No, we, a year and what you go through. And it's a, and the only thing, then they showed the charity. You know, I'm very involved in charity. Now. Oh, yes, what? Uh, well, God's Love We Deliver. Oh, yes. Uh, Guide Dogs of the Blind. Uh, number one killer of women, American Heart Association. Yeah. And the number two oh. killer of women is a, I know, a two, gardener, Jose, in women. California. <laughs> <laughs> Big Jose. He loves them and kills them. Oh, God. Okay, so look. So then, watch, watch. We're still doing pasta, believe it or I not. I know we are. Okay, so now do you, want, you can wash your hands over there in the sink. In the hot Add water? a little bit. No, no, no. Uh, in the sink. And so, so this is the, the tomatoes torn up. Let this with, uh, marinate with the olive oil and salt, pepper, and garlic, and just let it sit in the bowl. You can do that early in the day if you want. And this is what it looks like. Look, Joan. Here, towel. That, thank you. You really have everything here. Okay. Look, look. That looks so So pretty. that's marinated. And now you can tear up the mozzarella. Oh. 
Okay, now so you're killing take me. a piece I of mozzarella. Oh, don't you love it's mozzarella? My favorite. I love and mozzarella. And just put this mozzarella in here like that. And do you know mozzarella is probably the healthiest cheese for you? I think it's very yeah. good. I, yeah. I have this always in my refrigerator. Yeah. But oh, um, this and is then good. a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Mm. Do you like that? I love this. And a whole lot more fresh little bas basil leaves. Oh, and then good. I'm going to get the pasta. Do whatever you want of here, I'm happy. Out of here. <laughs> She's eating all the mozzarella. <laughs> this is just going to go to waste. Drain this. No, it's not. It's going right into the kitchen. Oh, do you know oh, that this is the right? best facial? <laughs> do you know you don't have to go to Mario Badescu. You can just you boil know, you're pasta. You're right. You know, it's so good. Here oh, we go. boy. Okay, this is so delicious. Oh, and these look so good, these calamari mm. pastas. This is this really is good for you. It gives you a mm, fabulous Whatever facial. this is, it is so pretty. Also colors. And the food just should dump be this pretty. in. Dump that in. What do I do with this? With that? Oh, oh well, you can put that in. You want it on the top? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can all stir it up. I'm a, a little great, bit more salt and there pepper. We go. I'm a great appreciator. There we go. Okay. So, what do you think? No I, knife pasta. Everybody should make this. It's uh, easy. It is easy. And to what else? Oh, and it's, it's delicious. delicious. Yes. And it smells good, and it's pretty. Oh, smell, smell. Oh, and food should be pretty. I'm yes. sorry. Look how pretty. Oh. And then mozzarella starts to melt. Oh. Mm, oh. Doesn't that look really good? And oh, guess what, audience? You're not going to get any of this. <laughs> I... I'm going to eat the whole damn thing. Look. You can watch me and take pictures. Look. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, this good. is so superb. Now, be sure to watch the season premiere of How'd You Get So Rich. Tomorrow on, night. Oh, tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, at 10 on TV Live. I love you for saying that. Thank you. You're very I, welcome. I, I had the best time with this. Look. Thank you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is fantastic. Joan, thank you very thank much for being so here. You're much. always so fun. I love you. Thank you. I think you're the best. Good. Cheers. <laughs>